Let me finish. Do not be condescending. No, you no. said you are still. No, 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 no. Do not be let's, let's calm down, guys. Let's calm down. No, do not be condescending. Was he condescending or not? Let me to finish. He's all. He's telling you what your home. I am. Yeah, he's telling you. No, no, but you're asking a question about anti-Semitism in a way as if you don't know what it is. No, be condescending. You said. I you are a student yes. willing to learn. <laughs> I am simply directing you, you can do that at home later. That is what I mean. No offence intended. Don't take that into offence. Secondly, once you know what anti-Semitism is defined by the Israeli lobby, for example, do you think you have the right to go and use what they think is anti-Semitic against them and just be anti-Semitic according to their criteria? Right to offend. Do you have the right to offend? Yeah. Would you do that in Israel? Yeah. Good luck to you. Anyway. So now <laughs> What's I'm your point? To... My point is... His point is you'll be now... locked up <laughs> if you do that. No, 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 yeah, no. I don't have to agree with the laws. No, but whether you agree or not, you'll still be locked up. Yes, but so that's your, wrong. So your agreement is mean. pointless. But that's wrong. What makes that wrong? What do you mean? Yeah, what does because it mean? Okay. I think we should come back to the conversation so about... So you're saying... My freedom of speech. So, so you're saying... What is right and wrong depends on what you consider to be infringement of your... Yeah. In language, yes. For what I language choose for myself is my decision. You don't get to tell me I don't, I don't use so the word right fucking and wrong, because you right, don't like it. So right and wrong comes from you in a particular way that you for feel. For myself, yes. Yeah. So for example, if you feel that it's wrong to speak to you, it's wrong, right? Everyone should consider it's wrong to speak to you. No for them. No, no. No. For I'm, you, for you. No, you're making this mistake because that's religi religious mentality where you try <laughs> religious to... Religious mentality. Yes, Here comes the condescending now. Try to impose. I can because you started it. So uh, two wrongs make a right. To impose. No, I'm just giving it back as, as good as I get. Uh, oh, you got it quite you, good actually. Uh, where you try to impose your mentality on others. I'm, I'm not, not going to do that. No, I'm simply you asking, are, you, asking. I'm saying this. what I'm choosing for myself is for me. Yeah. I'm not telling you that's true. I'm can you do that in any society? That's for me. In today's society, it's, in any society, can you do... It's so hard to believe okay, Let me you? ask you a simple question. Really? Simple question. Can you decide what is right and wrong in any society, yourself? You, individually? No. So you live in a world that doesn't really exist in your reality. Because you're saying there is no society in planet Earth which will agree society? with you. Make what is right and wrong. Yeah, we don't have to be. Disagreement is good. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's good. Try it. You said, I decide what is right and wrong. For but me. For you, yes. yes. But you live in societies which doesn't care about you. But they, they align. When I choose something for myself and then hundred other people choose that for themselves, that aligns and then you create a community based on that. How is that so So you're, you're saying if a majority that? agrees on something that's good? No. <laughs> the question what then? No, it's, it's I don't understand your point, subject then. to change. Why? Really? No, 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 I'm not asking about subject to change. I'm asking you that it's if the majority it. agree on certain thing, whether moral or immoral, How do you, know yes, something do you wait up or not? Do you weigh up the differences based on, based on moral and immoral? Based on what I, is right I, I choose it for myself, yeah. Well, yeah based I on what? So you if it's causing happiness, pain, suffering, all of these right. questions. So if now all of the people think that, okay, we are going to lock up all the white people in prison because that's how it makes us happy, it's okay, right? No. That's just, causing suffering. You compare that. Why listen, don't you listen, see listen. that? Okay, let me ask you really? again. No, no. Did you really make I, that I, point? I misunderstood. Do you, do I you misunderstood you. So I'm going to ask you again. Okay, so if there's no suffering, what then it's okay. What makes something right or wrong? <laughs> Why didn't you pick a number join the queue? Maximizing happiness and minimizing suffering and everything. Maximizing happiness of who? Collective. Collective. So if collectively people decide, now I'm going to use another example. Collective people decide, any French people come here with no offense to the French people. That's <laughs> causing suffering to human beings. Listen, No, you do not get you the You are not allowing me to incest. If people collectively decide to have incest, would you say it's okay? And they're happy, and they're all happy of them. No suffering. It and they use condoms. <laughs> yeah, they use condoms. <laughs> yes, I won't have any problem with that. You'll be okay. So you'll be happy with sleeping with your mother or your father or Dude, your brother or your sister. First of all, yeah? first of all, first of all, I'm gonna tell you this now. Yeah, tell me. Sure. I'm not dude. My name is okay. Mansoor. Calm down, calm down. Right. I, you asked me if people decided to do that. Collectively, would you be including okay? you. 
including me. That wasn't the part. No, I'm taking Was that it. part of the question? But would you be happy no, with no, that? No, 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 it's Maghrib time. Do not lie. Was that part of Are the question? Are you going question? to pray Maghrib? So that why are you worried about the time? Was that part of the question? Actually, he said... Are you... Now are you... Oh, hold on, I'm answering. He said, in a society, yes? No, if no. everyone agrees, because your earlier criteria was... No, no, no. Did he... Well, I'm answering, you're doing it again. Me. Don't ask me if you're going to cut me off. Did he say including me? Did you say well, including me? He said me collectively. Exactly. Yes. That well, did well, not exclude exactly. you. Exactly. Because if, the question was... Let me answer. Let me be clear. Though. What are you trying to answer? Let you me. already said it's okay. Yeah. Yes, now let me explain. Yeah, so you're okay to sleep with your mother, your father, no, your brother, you your sister. Idiot. Uh, now you're getting, now you're getting you personal. Calling me, calling me because you're not listening to me and then you... Come you were not listening to me too earlier, you kept you cutting me off. Said, yes, okay. okay. Don't fucking listen to me. Okay, I think we should okay. stop here, Mansu, because no, he's no, doing it deliberately no, no. now. You're being provoke. for some reason. No, you're not to able me. to handle this. Do you no, know what? Listen to In me. In your heart, you know it's you, wrong. You, be, yes, for me. Sorry? For me, I choose not to do yeah. it if other people choose, given they're not causing any He's okay with that. I'm nobody to tell them that's wrong. But you won't, you won't do it yourself. No, I won't do it for myself. Why? Because I think it's wrong. Why is it wrong? Because my relationship with my sisters and my mother is different. Remember, you said I'm, I'm, I'm the whole idea of right and wrong is okay. based I on think maximum happiness. If your mother or your brother, your father, whatever, considers happy, you know, I think you're, you're saying you don't have to partake in it. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Okay, so, but, exactly. but you still think that's moral, right? I'm saying I won't have any No, no, I'm asking you. Do you still think it's moral? I'm saying I won't have any problem. Ali, I'm not saying to, for you I'm to partake in it. Hear me I out. I can be neutral Hold on, and not have any Hold problem on. with that. I'm not saying you have to partake in it. All I'm asking is, if you agree with it, yeah. does it mean that you think I'm it's moral or immoral? <laughs> It's simple. Okay, okay, okay. Simple. Okay, I, take I think he considers it immoral. I take That's why he won't partake in it. What if your brother or your siblings they were doing that? Would you be okay with that? They choose for themselves. Yeah. If your brother wants to sleep with his your mom or your dad, would you be okay with that? Not you. Honestly. Yeah. If it's not causing any further suffering. Yeah, no, condoms, my friend. <laughs> I, I have no problem with it. Okay, thank you very much. Continue. I, you think you've made a point? No, no he's, I'm not making a point. He's I just say, simply wanted to know on this issue and that's it. You can really? And that's, yeah, and that's, that's the reason. Yeah, I no think the point. So the whole point that Mansoor was trying to make here is that your concept of morality and immorality is... No, I'm saying... You didn't even let me finish. You're doing it all the time. Guys, shall I call you an idiot now? Look Ali, me. shall I call you an idiot because you didn't let me finish? No. <laughs> Why? You Why? No because you've been doing it all day. What? Look at yourself. And you didn't call me idiot once. Why? <laughs> because you 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 weren't you okn okay. misconstrued my word into bringing my family into so why don't you because oh that was the reason you were angry yes i see okay yes okay i think you should and apologize i'm perfectly fine to do that <laughs> I'm okay, I'm I don't think he meant it like that. He gave it as an analogy. Yes, but I, I personally, I personally don't use people within the analogy because right yes, what I'm saying is that what first I would first I would right first I want to know whether you consider that act of incest as moral or immoral. Let's start with that. Because you have a position. You no, you hold on. You said you were okay with it, so yes, you do have a position with they it. They choose for themselves. Of course, I never said you should partake. I'm saying, do you consider that act? of other people okay. committing incest as moral or immoral. Okay, now once and for all, this is simple as that. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do it myself. I never said you should. I, I think it's wrong for me. But no, no, why did you use the term wrong? Is it moral because, or immoral? Because I choose it for myself. No, I'm saying, is that a, Oh my it's God. It's wrong for me. Ali, you so are not even in the equation. I'm saying other people, when they do it. It's not causing any suffering. Yeah, I have no problem. What is it? Is it moral? I have no problem with that. I know, but is it moral? I have no problem with that. See, he's avoiding this because he knows it's immoral. He knows it, no but he problem. just doesn't have the guts to say it. Poor exactly. guy. Because Poor guy. You know why? You know why? This is. I don't get to define other people's people Israel, morality. You have no guts to be anti Semitic. I, I have that. no problem okay. to define I think, I think to look, other if you don't even understand the difference between moral and immoral, okay. and you're going to say it is wrong, I'm when you say something is wrong, then that's immoral already. No. So you're just using semantics now in order for you to look good in front of the camera maybe for I, other atheists. I, I because at the end of the day, I know, I know for certain, I atheists do not have a grounding in moral and immorality. That's why you're in this predicament now. I really do not care. Of course you wouldn't care about immorality because you're an atheist. Yeah. That's what I've been telling you all along. Thank you for agreeing finally. I don't care, uh, good. care about your concept of it. 
Oh, you have a different concept of immorality? I choose for myself. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is your concept of immorality? You see, this is what happens. They will never acknowledge. At least acknowledge, my Fucking friend. Hell, I was here for two hours. I answered. And so was I. So thought. was I. Yeah, but and I didn't force you to stand really, here. You now, could have walked away any time. I asked you to stop and end it now. Oh, you know, oh, look, he's running away. He's atheist. When did I say that? Now he's lying as well. Come on. It's all you know, when, when you lose an argument, at least be humble enough to say, Okay, Hashem, I've had enough. I've heard you. I'm going to go home and think about it. Instead I'm of saying, did I also say you're running away? I, you say, see, now you don't have any point anymore. So I didn't say you're running away, did I? You imply it. Come when did I imply that? Now you imply it. Okay, and you know what? Let's leave it there. Because Let's I think you're there. frustrated. Yes? Because you guys have been frustrated. He's triggered. He's triggered. Okay. Why would you stand and talk to someone if you're frustrating? For two hours. You must be a real idiot if you did that. And you know why? You know why I normally don't call people idiot, Does but because you called my brother Mansoor idiot for no he, reason, he for no idiot. reason, he was yes, an idiot that is the reason. But anyway, look, he was an look, idiot in that case. all I'm saying is that be sincere with yourself. When you see some, some when, when you see certain things which are obvious, like there is no nothing, never was, never will be, yes, try to acknowledge it. Instead of trying to make yourself look foolish in a way, yes, <laughs> foolish, yes, by saying that one day we'll know Come to yeah. see nothing or know nothing. No, no, existence, yes. Existence. Trust me, go and ask any professor in a university or anywhere. I never said that. Are you guys really it's on camera, my friend. That? You cannot deny it. No, I said it might happen. See what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Are you guys really All right, let's leave it yeah. there. I let's leave it there. Really really close. Close. <laughs> yeah, be Don't open. Actually, <laughs> one day you might become a toad or a potato. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> it's possible. He can become a cauliflower. It's possible. One really? day. Yeah. Maybe you don't even exist. <laughs> okay, anyway, thanks. Thanks for your time, Ali, for your two hours. I hope we can do it more amicably next time. Okay, uh, anyway, so Jazakallah Khairan for listening. I mean, I didn't want it to wind down in that way, in a, in a way which I, I, I prefer it to end in a more amicable way. So next time we can probably. But when, when it comes to being stubborn, arrogant, and actually in denial of the most basic things whether there is objective truth, subjective truth, you know, which even the most town atheists will agree with. Yes? Even those people, this guy here is trying to be clever that if I stand on the fence, yes, I can get away with anything and everything. No, you can't. Because you look entirely and utterly foolish if you start denying reality, if you start denying your own consciousness, then all these faculties that you have, the very faculties that you have been using to question us, and to respond to us and to use refutations and rebuttals, you deny that very self, that very thing. In, so, in chapter 41, verse 53, Allah clearly says that we will show you your signs in the horizons and within yourself. And this is what these people are denying actually. They will even deny that. So when the clearest signs are shown to them, they will deny it. And he says, on the day of judgment, he said it himself. On the day of judgment, I will tell Allah, why you cause these people to, to, uh, to suffer? Yes, I, you're not worth your worshipping. Na'udhu Billah. If he, his mouth will be sealed on that day. Yes, his hands, his limbs will speak that day. Yes, the very limbs that he used in this world to commit whatever sins he has done. And that goes for everyone. Yes, will give, will bear witness on the day of judgment. When the reality comes, there's no way he'll have the guts to even stand in front of Allah straight. Yes, with confidence, let alone say that you cause all this suffering and so on. Okay. Anyway, look, the important thing is that when people say that suffering is a reason that I don't believe in God, they do not understand, yes, that this suffering can be a test. It is a test for the believers. There are many Muslims who suffer. There are many Muslim children who suffer. There are non-Muslims who suffer. We don't deny this. When the tsunami comes, it doesn't check for Muslims and non-Muslims. Indonesia is a majority Muslim country. Why did they have tsunami over there? This is because it is a test. The people who live there, yes, they bore it with patience. And even today, they pray to Allah. They haven't given up believing in Allah after such a calamity. This is the beauty of a believer that when a calamity falls upon you, you bear it with patience and you say Alhamdulillah. When some goodness comes to you, when, when you are 
having some some good things or some uh, reward in your life yes when some good news come to you you say alhamdulillah that time as well that is the beauty of the muslims and the believers alhamdulillah jazakallah khairan these yeah sure please yeah that's um, few things to notice in here there are people who have of course they've made themselves do not to believe in islam or believe in nothing whatsoever but the problem that we notice is this this mentality of superiority complex the pop problem pop, the, the complex of the ego they think they fare better they know better but they somehow think that it's it nothing makes sense to them so even if you argue with them rationally and logically and reasonably it doesn't click because they've already made up a mind so I, what i was asking earlier on what would convince you to, as a compelling evidence as an evidence that will be satisfactory and convincing that yes god exists and the example they provided and asked them okay suppose this is given would you have percent agree that's god they said no they don't even know what they're asking exactly. for. That's what they're the looking for. No criteria, nothing. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. And then they end up questioning and fighting for what they've left. Remember, these people, they haven't just left the believe in a God or believe in Islam. They are trying constantly in a struggle to fight it. They have formed groups and organizations. They come with a group and organization, one helping each other. Like Ex-Muslim, yes. <laughs> And uh, they, they're on this mission, as if they have the higher upper ground. But once you really scrutinize their belief system, Hashim was pointing to simply about Nothing. right and wrong and morality, right? What makes something good or bad, right and wrong? And as you realize, when you grill them on the surface, it's okay. Homosexuality is okay, bestiality is okay, incest is okay, this is okay, that is okay, right? When you bring their own self into the picture, their own family, you saw the reaction. You saw it yourself. Wind back the video that you're watching and look at the reaction. Zoom in the picture if you're able to, you will see. Because deep in their heart, they know it's immoral. They know it's wrong. They know it's disgusting. They know it's not acceptable. But because they don't have any basis of right and wrong. If you don't talk about their family or themselves, they'll say it's okay, as long as people are happy. Well, my brother here just hinted to me to talk about the issues about own siblings. You saw the reaction too. So that's what we're saying. People, when they lose their belief in God, what happens? They have no objective standards to assess to even debate, argue on the concept of right, wrong, good or bad, or even morality, because everything is to them subjective. I ask constantly, what makes things right for you, or whatever I decide. But as you realize, that itself is not being consistent. But the main argument we were talking about, very consistent of God. Surprisingly, these two individuals that we spoke to today, they believe in a possibility that yes, one day <laughs> we will come to this realization that nothingness <laughs> can make something, that non existence can bring about existence. Or they'll see nothing one day. <laughs> I mean, this is really, really mind boggling, people. It's, it tells volume, still why? Because the alternative option is really challenging for them. Because if nothingness cannot exist and bring about something, the only option left is there's always something. That universe cannot be that because it is not a personal agent. It doesn't have a will to bring about change. So you will be left with the concept of a personal agent with will and wisdom and power to bring about this reality. That is the picture of a creator which they have been running away from. Yeah. That is why this constant struggle and that is why they know in their heart this will hunt them. It will hunt them in their dreams. They will have nightmares. But that's their choice. If they want to go against God and it's clear evidence for its existence. 
We don't have to prove God exists. What is the, the evidence is all manifest clearly. You need to have the eyes here and here. Because it is not that your eyes are blind, it's your heart that is blind. Thank you. Okay, so inshallah, before we finish, just want to say that we are in the last 10 days of Dhul Hajjah. These are very, very blessed days. Uh, the best days, uh, as in the hadith has been described, is the best days during of, of, of the year, you know. Alhamdulillah, some say even, uh, even like more than uh, uh, the days in Ramadan. So anyway, Alhamdulillah, it's blessed days. So please try to increase in your ibadah, in your dhikr, in your tilawa, the reading of the Quran, uh, uh, praising Allah, uh, saying, the, uh, saying salawat on the Prophet Sallallahu uh, Alaihi Wasallam, and fasting if, uh, if you can, inshallah. And try to fast everyone, if possible, on the Yawm al-Arafah, uh, the day of Arafah. And this, uh, the fasting, as it says in the Quran, it expiates your sins of the past year and the year to come. So inshallah, there's great reward in it. Try your best um, and inshallah, make dua for all of us um, that Allah make it easy upon the whole of the Ummah, in fact, that this pandemic that we are experiencing it's, it's something that uh, is something which is a test upon us. So please, Allah, do not test us more. Yes, make it easy upon those who who are suffering from it and give uh, uh, give the status of martyrs or, or of uh, shaheed to those people who have passed away from it. Uh, and please keep us all in your duas. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.